real. So Taj and I are just, we got the tender, I got in the ferry and I've left them on the dock. So go pick them up. Pretty exciting. Okay, so a few weeks ago we had a guy called Phil come out from Zoom Sales and measure up Catalpa for some new sales. Yeah, he's a really, really lovely guy. Thank you so much, Phil. And we picked up our sales yesterday. He's not here, he is in Denmark. Is right? Yeah, Denmark. Denmark. And um, they've just had a new baby. So congratulations, guys. But yeah, he won't be here to help us put the sales on. We're going to show you guys putting new sales on Catalpa. Yay! So first thing we did was remove our sunshade. We're going to take off our main first. Disconnecting all the reefing lines. I don't know how the reefing points are set as opposed to these, so we may need to alter our reefing lines or we may not. If anything, it'll just be moving our longest one down one and uh, adding one more. So this is our old sail and it's about to come off. So Lee's just undoing a U-bolt holding the foot of our sail, is that right? Yeah, the shackle there holding it on. Is that, that all that off. holds our sail on? Pretty much, and we've got we have to remove it all from the slides. There's actually, actually a broken sail slug there too. Oh. A bit of bad weather when that we ripped our, ripped our main, broke our sail slug. Pull them out that way. Our mast setup is a slide. This slide, what is it? Is there a proper name for it? What is it? I don't know, it's just an internal slide in internal the mast. Internal slide. With a sail so slide. we've got slugs. So our new one's got slugs on it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's new, better ways to do well, this. Well, you can but... have a roller, all each um, individual one of these is rollers, so they're quite expensive. And, uh... Oh, hence why we have slugs, guys. Yeah. We have slugs. <laughs> Yep, another shackle and that's the foot of the sail. Now she's free. So Lee's just moving our lazy jacks. Not lazy Susan, like I called them in one of our videos. <laughs> just going to move them out of the way. So we can get this old sail off, finally. Lovely perspiration happening on Lee's back. We are in the tropics, everybody. It is very warm today. It's probably about 30 degrees, honey. It's definitely about that. It's definitely. Ripping. And it's only in the early in the morning. Out with the old, in with the new. This is our old sail. Lee's demonstrating why we need a new one. <laughs> it used to be joined together here. Oh, it's so white. We got. That'll be the foot, that'll be our reefing points. And then roll this down this way. My sturdy looking slugs. Well, our reefs are all in there ready to go. This round contraption here is our battens, and our battens are straight things that go inside like poles inside our main. Yeah, so we've got a fully battened mainsail and these are meant to be straight so they're very taut at the moment so we're just... Phil unraveling. gave us instructions through email just to be careful unravelling this. Oh, because as you can see this is a round thing and what's coming out of it is straight things. So we could potentially lose an eye if he doesn't do this right. I think the instructions were to untie one at a time. Slow and steady wins the race, they reckon. So yeah, so battens we are going to put in while the sail is down here on the floor because we don't we, know how people do this. We don't know, but we have done it before on our sail. Not we just find it easy to slide the battens in while it's on the deck if you've got an option like this. As yeah, we don't know if it's right or wrong. In on the mast or on the boom. Yeah. We have done both ways and we feel like it's easier yeah. on the ground. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We're, we're not, not going to pretend we do. It. Yeah, so it looks like it's been raining here. But it's actually just a bit of perspiration. It is hot. I don't know why we didn't get up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and start this, but 
It just still was hot anyway. <laughs> it actually is a bit overcast today, so it is a little bit cool. It's not a bad day to do it. Alright, so like we said, we've been instructed to take our time, be very careful. I don't really like where I'm standing for this, but as soon as you undo one string, one of these fiberglass buttons will go ping, pretty sure. At least he's going to take his time and look after his wife, right? This might be a slow process. We may come back. So now we're going to slide the buttons into the sail. So they've got these little pockets here and it should be quite easy and simple. They're all different sizes so they go from big to small. And then I'll leave them out. Put the first button in. Is that the biggest one? Yep. Starting with the biggest. Then make sure the button's secure, it's tied in. What knot are you doing to tie it in there, Captain? Oh, yeah. So he's just checking the other end that it's all the way through. No problem. Just give it a little push in. Oh, give it a little push. And it's all tucked in there, tucked into bed, so it can't come out. Lee continued to place each batten in one by one, securing them into the sail. You make that drip of sweat drip off your nose. <laughs> Dripping up the nose, guys. It was a sweaty job. Battens in and more hands were needed to lift the sail up onto Catalpa. Step one, attach the halyard or line to the top of the sail. Once attached, Taj pulls on the halyard as Lee feeds each of the sail slugs into the mast. While Bella and I, um, well, we're here just in case we're needed. Up she goes. The biggest tip is an obvious one, but if you're putting up sails while your boat is on anchor or in a marina, make sure there is not much wind at the time or any predicted either. She is up and it looks great. Lee attached the shackle at the foot of the sail and checked out the reefing lines, which worked out great. We only had to make a couple of adjustments and ta-da, we packed her away into the sail bag, which thank goodness it also fit into. You've been getting me down, getting me down. mine just doesn't really like this uh, tropical environment. So it's time to put on our new Genoa. That's right. So what's happening is we're taking off our old head sail first before we put on our new one. It's a steamy afternoon over on the island of Langkawi. This is the head sail or the Genoa. It is in okay condition and unlike our main we will keep this sail as a spare. The undoing of a few lines and off it came.
Folding sails is not as easy as it seems, but we're getting better at it. Tricky one to fold, the old head sail. Two bow lines, honey? The one, baby. Lines attached and the sail is fed up the furler. You told me I'm your anchor. I told you you're my pole Through the wind and fire We try to hold on We build this ship together Searching for a home Despite the storm that hit us We're still on board Dancing in the moonlight The world just stop and stares We got no destination It was about now the GoPro battery decided to die But don't worry, you didn't miss much Just us furling in the Genoa that's it, our new sails are on and ready to go sailing. So far shaking for my own You said just keep holding on If you're about to break oh, 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 I'll always be your captain For our failures we have grown You said just keep holding on Alright, so we're leaving, uh, we're leaving Reback bit weird, we took the aircon off and uh, we're ready to go, untying the lines. Back on anchor life. Go. See you Brian. Oh, see ya. Fight without the aircon now. Look at him, it's melting. <laughs> we have been tied up to the dock for two months now, so we are well and truly ready to get out of the marina and get back on the hook. Lessons in. What, in listening? In listening or untying the line? You said just keep holding on If you're about to break Oh, I'll always be your captain I'll be your captain See you guys! Done there, Kev. Got our sail covers on because we're too hot and we're not taking them off. Not sail covers, what do you call it? A boom tent. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this episode made you smile. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Captain's back in his captain's chair. We just want to say a massive thank you to Phil from Zoom Sales. You were a pleasure to deal with and we are stoked with the sail quality and the fit. Also, if it wasn't for some of our amazing patrons, this would have never been possible. So thank you guys. We love you so much.